If you've been following the hype on all the talk about the differences between introverts and extroverts, you've probably already heard that introverts typically prefer quiet environments, whereas extroverts often enjoy exploring new places and meeting new people. While this is true, it only remains half-truthful for those who identify as highly sensitive extroverts. Wait, what? But aren't introverts usually the highly sensitive ones? Turns out introverts aren't the only ones who face misconceptions. So if introverts and extroverts can both be highly sensitive individuals, are introverts still the ones more likely to identify as HSPs? Well, according to Dr. Elaine Aaron, author of The Highly Sensitive Person, 70% of the HSP population identify as introverts, which leaves 30% who are sensitive extroverts. Although the percentage of HSP introverts definitely outweigh HSP extroverts, this only creates space for harmful labels and stereotypes, such as the belief that extroverts only act or behave in a particular manner. Whether someone is an introvert or extrovert, the following four criteria is used to determine high sensitivity. One, depth of processing. Two, overstimulation. Three, emotional responsiveness and empathy. And four, sensitive to subtleties. If you want to learn more about how highly sensitive people function, check out this video after here. Although Susan Cain is known to be the catalyst for the big introvert movement, Elaine Aaron's research on HSPs disproves her broad generalizations of what being introverted and extroverted means. In Cain's book Quiet, she describes extroverts as one who is sociable, gregarious, excitable, dominant, lighthearted, bold, and comfortable in the spotlight. She then describes introverts as being deep thinkers, preferring to process slowly, sensitive to stimuli, emotionally reactive, needing time alone, and so forth, which, according to Erin, are all qualities of a highly sensitive person. But as an HSP extrovert, she identified with all of those traits. And if that wasn't contradicting enough, her husband, a non-HSP introvert, wasn't able to fully identify with these listed qualities. Confused? We were too. So, then what differentiates HSP introverts and extroverts from non-HSP introverts and extroverts? According to Erin's research, she discovered that those who score highly on the MBTI tests with NF or NT temperaments usually identify as highly sensitive people. Meanwhile, fewer HSPs lean more towards the SF and ST temperaments. F and T stand for feeling and thinking, but it's the differences between N and S that contributes to high sensitivity. The N stands for intuiting, while the S stands for sensing. Intuitive HSP people are more interested in exploring theories and ideas, whereas sensing non-HSP individuals care more about what's real, rather than abstraction. Hence, they enjoy the stimulation the physical world provides because it's their playground and where they make meaning. Meanwhile, intuitive folks don't mind escaping and living in their imaginations. So in conclusion, both introverted and extroverted HSPs enjoy alone time, less stimulating environments, and prefer deep discussions over small talk. But what differentiates them is that HSP extroverts prefer to talk about their thoughts and feelings out loud rather than writing about them. And if they spend too much time in their heads, they'll start to grow restless and need to explore the outside world for rejuvenation. Hey guys, it's Yumi here, one of the partners of Psych2Go. First off, I want to thank you for being a part of our community. Without you guys, we won't be where we are today. So, are you a highly sensitive introvert or extrovert? We'll love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you want to know more about HSP, please visit our good friends at We Are Kim's. I will have the video right here and also a link in the description down below. We Are Kim's is an amazing channel that focuses on marriage, relationship, and well-being. Please show them some love by following and subscribing them. Until next time, bye guys! Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips and share this video with others. Thanks for watching!